YouTube world. Today, what I got behind me is a beautiful double side class C made by quality manufacturer, Winnebago. It's a Winnebago Mini Winnie. Yep, Winnie Mini, Mini Winnie, model 30 V, V as in Victor. It's got double slides, 2018 tires. They're mid 18, so they were probably put on in a 19. They're about three year, two years old tires. Lots of trade. It's brand new. It's got about 56,000 miles. We just sealed it after we got it because those people know Class C's. They're notorious about water leak in the front. So you got to keep them sealed, okay? So it was sealed, but we went over and our RV tech sealed it on top. Uh, all, the, all the area where the marker lights in the front, you got five marker lights, those orange ones. This light, oh, by the way, we just buffed it. Can you tell the, is a shine coming in here? Man, look at that sun. We just had it buffed. So it's really nice. That doesn't mean it does not have any flaws. Let's talk about flaws right here. Little ding, okay? A curb rasp from a jump in it. By, by the way, it's got a 4,000 watt micro quiet generator. We'll tell you the hours inside the butt. All right, let's see. We got a sewer hose, 30 amp power cord, all that. By the way, this is a Southern Motorhome. Six gallon water heater. You got an outside shower. Or what do you call the gravity fuel and a I think that's your fuel. That's your money. All right. Some outside shower. That's an outside shower right here. You can see it. And got a little scrub right here. There you go, it's shut. By the way, it was a trading on a 40-foot four-slide Newmar Dutch Star. So that's how we got this. Uh, we'll open the slide out and show you what it looks like. So it got a few little dings and scuff marks, but overall, look at it from far away. Beautiful blue, white, blue and white, Winnebago. By the way, up on top, we'll show you a roof. It's a one-piece fiberglass roof. Unlike some other motorhome manufacturers, Winnebago puts high-quality one-piece fiberglass roof, not a rubber roof, fiberglass roof. That's a good thing for us. Got a 5,000 to towing capacity hitch here. You got some plug-in, and look at this, added feature. So when you bottom out, it won't scratch your bottom here, but it'll just, this wheels, caster wheels would take the load if you go bottom somewhere. All right, keep coming here. Let's see, got a little scratch, free of charge. So you get that for free. We'll pop the cover and put a light on that. Ain't no big deal. No big deal. All right, we got another little ding. This is a pass-through storage, by the way. So if you got a big pole or something, let me go and open up the other side. Hey, can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's a pass-through storage. So if you got like a, if you're a NASCAR fan or a football fan or something, you can put your big long pole in here or whatever you have long. That's your LP tank. Got little extra accessories if you want to cook out out here, like Tom does. We know somebody they'd like to cook out. Uh, let's see, electric awning, that is an upgrade. And you see this right here? You can actually, a lot of TVs can go right here. And you can play TV, because you have a 110 power out here. Uh, there we go. So it's got an electric step. It just opens up and step comes out. All right, it's a little night. Change of dress, but we're gonna go in this. Uh, look at this out, outside light, patio light. It is LED. Once you come inside, you're gonna love it, okay? I know we showed some flaw outside, but let's show you some good stuff. Power step works. You got all this LVP on a both side. Bull nose here, and you're gonna see entire floor. It's beautiful, about $2,500 upgrade. You don't even see this in brand new Class C where they put the cheap vinyl linoleum floor so this is lvp engineered floor that we specialize in doing it throughout the coach all the way back in the bedroom and all the bedroom and hall everywhere you're in a bathroom two slides sofa opens up in the bed we've got some seat belts back there we've got some seat belts here um it's a nice upgrade on tv oh mayberry i love it so the previous owner's got a uh, nice uh, what do you call it? a little bungee cord so when you travel it's, it's a storage back there that's where the boob tube used to be so this is a nice 32 inch uh lcd tv you can hang it up over here we have a wind guard satellite disc hook up you can put some radios and stuff i mean dvd or blu-ray player 
got all the books and manuals here. Let me turn this light on here. Boom. All the owner's manuals and all the paperwork. It's all located right here. Let's see. This was sold for 88924 back in the days. We still have a sticker, 88924 With today's inflated dollar, it's about 200000 now. I think some of the Class C's are about 175000 180 grand. So, anyways. Isn't it nice? All right. So, booth dinette folds down in a bed. Upholstery seems to be in good shape. No excessive wear, no tears or rips, you know. Of course, it is used. It's 2005, so it is 17 years old. Uh, sofa behind you also opens up in the bed. And let me talk to you about this little uh, a bunk area. All the walls and everything is in great shape. And as earlier I mentioned, everything is sealed. But see all the windows in here? Let me show you a little stuff here. See discoloration on this little L bracket? Paint's coming off. I mean, you can paint it. It's got a, it's got a little evidence of previous water intrusion. That's, that's normal. It happens. But the good thing is no soft wall. It's all hard. Same thing on this side. Okay? But it does have some dis discoloration, okay? It's not a big deal. I don't know if you can see it. It's really dark, but... Uh, uh, wow, okay, let me get down. Oh, I got it unhooked here. Now, also, when you are traveling, you could just put this thing up so easily you can get down into the cab area. We'll, obviously, we'll go through this when we get on test drive. Uh, there's a little discoloration on this wood also and back of this vinyl okay but no tears or anything like that okay you get this for free that have does have a little privacy uh thing comes around here uh, two kids can sleep there or one adult all right we're done with the living room lots of cabinets three burner gas stove check it out traditional stuff very clean no sign of abuse or oh Finders keepers, it goes with it. Uh, microwave oven. Lots of drawers and cabinet space in the kitchen area. Up here, 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 there. Dual, nice ceramic sink. You even have extra counter space when you're cooking, chopping some vegetables up or whatever. Some more storage under this refrigerator. Uh, Double door refrigerator run on LP gas or electric. We've got the shelves out. We're just cleaning up our detail guys. Just start cleaning it up here. Uh, got a privacy curtain here. By the way, speaking of all the windows, the pre previous custom, previous owner who traded it in, they have little bars back there. What do you call them? And they had a nice uh, curtain, homemade curtain curtains. We have them. Uh, they're a lot better than those uh, junk stuff. You know, they go bad. But you can put new curtains, or we have a curtains that will go with it. The center part of the coach, we have a command center here. We have all the level test. Water pump got 219 hours on generator. It's running right now as we speak. Uh, it's got a cool heat and electric heat. So it does have heat pumps. You don't see that in a lot of uh, Class C modem. Winnebago does that. Uh, 110 water heater. 110 volt so you can you have a propane and a 110 electric heat this bathroom the toilet door also opens up and gives you privacy so come on in back here the lvp continues all the way throughout the toilet area and a bedroom over here we got a nice uh, stand-up shower with a glass enclosed i'm six feet man. tall people can get in here too all led bulbs isn't it nice and you don't see no discoloration from any uh, uh, water leak. It's in a really good shape. Okay, that's a good thing because a lot of time you'll see that. All right, come on back in the bedroom. We have a vanity. Well, before you come in the bedroom, guess what? I want to show you this. So we got a snap button, uh, privacy curtains, I guess. So a little vanity here. 
window we got 12 volt battery charger if you if your phone's going dead this is old school well you can change those and put a one with a two usb but it does have a nice little thing some uh it's got a tv hookup back here so if you wanted to have a tv installed here you could in a bedroom you probably put one 27 inch or something wardrobe this is a 30 v as in victor so it has two slides and i'm standing here in front of the bed and i still have a lot of room to get, reach out and get my clothes and get ready we have about six drawers down here six two eight drawers big one and deep and a little one and another coat closet so her and his <laughs> back here nice little mirror and again you see ceilings are all good walls are good uh bedroom has some room under the bed i'll show you he's got some reading lights that's your exit window We've got side lamps let's see what's under the bed probably have some room indeed got a lot of room to put some extra beddings and pillows and for guests when you entertain more people i mean you sleep one two three four five six seven eight eight people oh let me go ahead and open this toilet area wow that is a bright got three bulbs they're all led converts uh, conver uh, conversion has been done so that's really nice got lots of counter space let me get under it lots of counter space some cabinet drawers more cabinet doors The fan works that's a good thing you see lvp goes in the toilet area too that's really nice all right some bathroom towel holder so this will conclude our interior video let's get on the road i'm gonna go through uh, uh go through cockpit area and we'll get on the road it does have a hwa's leveling jacks right i mean that is a big big huge plus that's about a four to five thousand dollar plus hwh automatic levelers you hit button once and second time it just deploys and and level your coach up got a nice backup monitor tft color backup monitor uh it's upgraded because you know old one was probably here no i don't know if they had one but it has have a uh it's got it's still got an old school radio but you know you can you could probably go to best buy or yourself on amazon and can about two three hundred dollars you can put a nice uh uh radio if you want but wow sounds good okay we got two cup holders here speaking of them we'll get me some water 57,000 miles 219 hours on generator we've got two cigarette lighter one one here one there one for gps one for your phone a little um i don't know what that is for power level something intro i don't know what that is yeah all right here we go going out of the storage facility well our new dealership <laughs> we're gonna go test drive great acceleration oh yeah no skip or nothing man i know it's at night but i love this little armrest so you can relax and drive and then you got another armrest on your door so what we're going to do just go around town here and uh check out what kind of acceleration and uh, how the brake feels and how the steering wheel feels how it how it handles on the road and uh oh we're going to check the cruise control out about 30 miles an hour here 40 miles an hour 45 almost 50 but i'm coming up in a little a traffic circle the high beam works the headlight illuminates pretty well all right let's see you know driving a class c motorhome is like driving a a van i mean it is it's like a mover's van if you've driven any u-haul 30 foot van or something like that this is so simple that's why people buy class c's now you know we sell mostly class a it's got a nice adjustable seat i had to get it back i have long legs all right let's see wiper blades works because it was raining earlier all right let me get it up to about 50 miles an hour and uh turn it on the cruise and check it out it steers road really well 
easy to drive. Cruise has engaged at about 50 miles an hour. And we're going up the hill and it's uh, downshifted and kept me 50 miles an hour. Runs really good. I mean, look, steer straight, no pulling right or left. It's just easy to drive. So, hey, you can hit the road, go to Florida, Arizona, wherever you go. South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else I can add. It drives good, good motorhome, got a few flaws outside. Let me just sum it up. It is a 2005, so it's 17 years old, but it's a good solid motorhome, only 57,000 miles, about 220 hours, 219 hours on generator. Everything is operational. Leveling jacks, that's a huge plus. Two slide out, that's another good thing about older motorhome. Uh, then we added a $2,500 or $3,000 worth of a uh, hardwood floors or LVP runs really good I've got I need to add one thing I did a calculation the other day just being an engineer I wanted to find out you know if you were going 500 miles trip from South Carolina to or Charlotte North Carolina wherever to uh, Orlando Florida to see Mickey Mouse 500 miles okay the gas price was what 350 and now it's almost four dollars or maybe it's gonna be 450 or five I kept five dollars a gallon you know the difference in the gas mileage and the fuel cost for 500 miles is going to be like 82, 88, let's just say about 100 bucks more. You know all you got to do is just don't go out and eat a couple of nights. <laughs> That's all. And motorhomes are not like cars. You don't go home to work, work to home. You go one destination and enjoy it for a week, two, three weeks, month, depending on. So, you know, gas is not going to affect much. Uh, but those people are worried about it, stay home. Don't go camp. <laughs> Uh, enjoy your life, you know. Uh, that's our motto. Anyways, my number is 864-404-0054. That 864-404-0054. Mine is 864-376-5600. You can also call Nicole. You can text her 864-569-5636. So we got plenty of choice to call. 864-569-5636 is her number. Nicole is behind the camera. Call us, text us, and we'll walk you through. Uh, FaceTime you. If you don't have an iPhone, get a Google Duo or some app that we can FaceTime you. So before you're going to drive several, several hours, we like to show you everything. We're not perfect, but we like to show what works and what not. Speaking of works, we'll make sure it'll be camp ready, okay? Uh, it may have a one bulb burn out or something, you get that for free. We'll try we'll try our best to have motorhome in as good shape as it can be for used motorhome. All right, I guess uh, that's about it. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and hit that bell to, you know, when we put new videos, uh, you get to see it. Hey, this motorhome drives so well. So come get it. We do take trades and we help you get financed. Thank you and have a blessed day.